Hello people of the world, welcome back to my channel. What's going on everybody? As you can see we are back on some more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies. This is best perks in the game so far. Um, so this is the most overpowered best perks you can possibly use You're in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Hopefully this will be a guide, kind of a way to let you know which perks are better than others, which perks you should use and why you should use them I'll be explaining my favorite perks by the way just letting you know the worst perks will not be in this video I'll be making another video guys where the worst perks will be in that video okay I'm gonna give you out my couple of best perks I use in every game why I use them but yeah with all that said let's jump right into this if you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe follow comment share check out my Twitch Jordan Phoenix 22 for more great videos on my Twitch, follow me. Don't forget to check out my YouTube, Jordan Phoenix 22. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video. Let me know in a comment right now what your favorite perk is you're in Black Ops 4 right now below. First of all, we're going to start this list off with by far one of my favorite perks you're in Black Ops 4. We're also going to be talking about the modifier, my favorite one in that. But my favorite perk, without a doubt, has to go to salmon air up that is my favorite perk you're in black ops 4 i will show you um i love it in the modifier spot it's such an amazing perk salmon up i'll tell you why the maps are really big all four maps are very big here in black ops 4 and what salmon up allows you to do i will read it here for you too so it's so great because it increases your movement and speeds uh sprint speed Salmon up regenerates faster, so your salmon up regenerates faster. So, for example, I'm running without salmon up. Sometimes I'm really, really slow, especially with some of the heavier weapons like the right machine gun, the rocket launcher. I can get caught by zombies and then get killed because I run out of breath. With salmon up, it increases it quite a lot, increases your movement speed and your and your sprint speed and your salmon up regenerates faster. So, it really is overpowered. You're in Black Ops 4 zombies. I definitely recommend you using it. I also recommend you putting in the modifier spot due to you get unlimited full sprint. So there's no half sprint anymore. You get unlimited full sprint. It's so overpowered. It's crazy. Player can fire weapons while sprinting. Well, weapon reload speed is increased. That happens to all perks, by the way. All weapons reload speed is increased. So that is my favorite perk you're in Black Ops 4. This is a hard one, okay? There are some great years perks here in Black Ops 1. There's some really terrible perks, especially with the patches. Some patches make uh, the perks better or worse. Um, it was either going to be Dying Wish or it was going to be Quick Revive. And due to... I have to give it a Quick Revive. The second best perk here in Black Ops 4 for co-op also has to be Quick Revive. It's such a crutch perk. What Quick Revive essentially does... Um, pretty much it's a sort of a before regeneration health and increased re regeneration rate revive players faster So for example, I'm running I got 150 health for example or 200 health a zombie hits me takes 50 health off me I've only got 150 health without quick revive that regeneration to 200 or 150 will take longer But now I've got quick revive I will regenerate health faster so I don't go down as much It's really OP. It's pretty much juggernaut gear in black ops 4. It's really good if you're playing co-op, I recommend putting this in the modifier, and I'll tell you why. Gaining movement speed boost after health regeneration starts. Holy damn, boy. So you essentially come even faster than you would normally are with salmon up too. Reviving grants both players full health at movement speed boost. And a movement speed boost. Weapon reload speed is increased. Holy damn, Quick Revive is so overpowered you're in Black Ops 4. Um, I don't recommend Quick Revive in your modifier spot if you're playing solo. If you're playing co-op, it's an absolute must, guys. What an overpowered perk you're in Black Ops 4. Alright, the next one is really hard. Just because, but it has to go to Dying Wish. Dying Wish, without a doubt, is one of the greatest perks you're in Black Ops 4. Third best perk, in my opinion. You can put it in the modifier spot, it's even more OP. But yeah, I'll tell you what Dying Wish does. Dying Wish, instead of entering the last sand, so instead of da going down and you, your player has to revive you, whether or not you're in corporal or solo, 
a player goes into Berserk for nine seconds. So you get nine seconds of going invincible instead of dying. While Berserker, they are invincible and melee damage is greatly increased. So you build a knife stronger than you could before. So if you got the Bowie knife, you're gonna be bam, bam, and you're gonna kill the zombies. If you don't have the Bowie knife, your knife will be slightly stronger, not much. But the Bowie knife will be good. Um, and the player is left with one health, cooldown increased with every use. So, in other words, guys, the more you use this perk, the worse it gets, the longer it takes to regenerate. But you don't just don't uh, use the perk a lot. Only use it when you're sensory too. Also, um, you only get one health. So if you get hit while you are regenerating your health, that's why you need quick revival on. You will die, and you will go down. And it takes normally about 10 minutes in the early rounds, and it go up to like 25 minutes to regenerate then in the high rounds. It's not too bad if you're a brilliant player. This is a high round, uh, I put high round perk. I attempt, I will say, use this in every game if you can. So, the next perks are just so overpowered during Black Ops 4. The rest are absolutely terrible appear to uh, this perk you're in Black Ops 4. Deadshot Dealer, some people like it. It is one of my favorite, it's my fourth favorite perk you're in Black Ops 4. This is what it does. Deadshot Dealer. Aiming down is so OP, guys. Aiming down the sight snaps to the enemy's head. So, it's nothing like Deadshot years ago. It literally snaps right to the head straight away. So, you can get extra damage on that zombie. So, you can not have to waste so many bullets. Kill zombies. Get the headshot challenges. So, you can get your camos. Get your weapon leveled up faster. It's so goddamn OP. Plus, it reduces the hip fire spread and recoil when firing removes scope stray so it's so overpowered and then if you put in the modifier spot when you get those high rounds gain a damage boost when on a headshot streak so the more headshots you get the more damage your weapon does and then of course you'll get a weapon reload speed increase like all of the other perks um the next three perks are just so sorry i'm gonna probably say the next four perks are so op the rest will have to be I'm gonna have to think about my fifth one, cause it's hard, boys. I'm gonna give it to Stone Cold. So the fifth best perk here in Black Ops for Zombie is Stone Cold Stronghold. I'll attempt to see what it does. If you're a camper, which goes really good with Deadshot Dakley, right? Deadshot D, I mean, <clears throat> it pretty much sanding your ground creates a defensive circle and boosts damage and armor over time while inside okay you don't get an insane damage boost but it definitely does give you more damage not by much but it will you will get more damage keep that in mind you also get a little bit of armor to keep you alive so if you're camping get dead shot daiquiri dead dealer sorry and this perk together you are op if you are going to use this perk definitely put it in the modifier your fourth spot this is what it does it's op as hell especially if you're camping guys make sure you use it what an op perk here in black ops for zombie recommend using it it's so brilliant guys black ops 4 has so many great perks and it also has so many terrible perks here in black ops 4 um but yeah this is what it does when you put in the modifier enemies killed inside the defensive circle also boosts damage and armor weapon reload speed is increased so the more enemies you kill the more armor you will get the less zombies will be able to kill you and of course the more damage you do so it's so OP, stay in some one spot and just murder those zombies. No good if you're not going to be camping, no. I don't recommend this perk if you're not a camper. Do not use this if you're not camping, okay, guys? The next one is really hard because the next three perks are super overpowered. But I'm going to have to give it to Victorious Turtoise. Using this perk is really good if you're a high round player and you use your shield a lot to get out of bad situations. Shield is really good. And when you compare this with... The new all and powerful Victorious Turtoise. So what was Victorious Turtoise do? It's kind of an odd perk. You gotta use it correctly to actually like it. You gotta be quite a skillful player. So if you're not going for high rounds, you're not very skillful. Probably don't use this perk. So ignore this is number six. Shield block damage from all directions. So if I got a shield out, say a zombie, I got one health. A zombie, I pull out my shield, get it out. Not only can I deal damage to zombies, but they cannot do damage to me at all. Not even a little bit. As long as I have that shield out, I'm completely invincible until it breaks. So shield block down from all directions when it healed, when held. When a shield breaks, it will trigger a defensive explosion. 
It is so goddamn overpowered you're in Black Ops 4. I don't use it as much because I don't get trapped very often. But yeah, it's very powerful. And then you can use it as a weapon if you wish on the modifier. You're going to use it, definitely use the modifier. Shield bass attacks can knock down heavy and mini boss enemies where weapon reload speed is increased. It can become a weapon then. It's not that powerful, but it is a powerful weapon you're already using Black Ops 4. Feed 7 per... Seven best perk here in Black Ops 4 has to go to the one and only ba Bandero the Bandit. It is so OP if you want more ammo. You can't carry insane amount of ammo, but you can carry extra ammo. So if you're the kind of guy, you got a weapon from the box, and you're like, this gun has barely any ammo, but it's so good, but I want more ammo. This perk is good, or if you have a brilliant weapon, and it has tons of ammo, and you want to give it more ammo, this is great, you have more ammo than you need, so you no longer need to rely on war weapons. This perk pretty much gives you more ammo. Carry increased ammo, that's all it does. If, one of, if you're going to use this perk, definitely use the modifier. Refill ammo of sold weapons from ammo stock over time. Weapon reload speed is increased. So overall, this is an amazing perk. And moving on to our final perk, number 8. Perk 8 here in Black Ops 4. 8th best perk, you guys know what it is. You guys know what it is, boys. And that has to go to the one and only Mule Kick. Mule Kick, you know what it is, boys. Mule Kick is such an overpowered perk here in Black Ops 4. Compared to the rest, it's so good compared to the rest of the perks that I've mentioned. There's so many other perks I've mentioned, but this beats the rest of the ones I have not mentioned by far. The rest are just shit, to be fair, boys. And this perk just does it for me. Carry an additional primary weapon. So, I have two weapons. I'm like, shit, I want that ray gun out of the box. I go buy Mule Kick and I get that ray gun as my third weapon. If you are going to be using Mule Kick, you need it in your modifier spot. I'll tell you why. Switch weapons faster. So, you, it, when you have three weapons, trying to get to the weapon you want is quite annoying because you have to switch through three weapons, not two. So, it slows down your switching. Where if you can switch weapons faster with the modifier, it does help. And also, the most annoying thing about Mule Kick, you get a pack a punch weapon, you get a wonder weapon, whatever. You die, and then you lose that weapon. Not anymore with the modifier. The additional weapon will be saved and restored on the next Mule Kick per purpose. So, in other words, I got, say I got the ray gun, fully pack a punch. I go down, my friend didn't revive me. I'm crying my head off. I had the ray gun and his pack a punch, and now it's gone. But I had my modifier on, I go ahead, respawn, I don't have time to go to the pack punch machine, I don't have time to go buy any other perks. I quickly run to the Mule Kick, drink it, and I got my pack of punch ray gun back, and I'm like, bam, bam, shooting all the zombies, boy, they don't know what hit them, I got my wonder weapon back. And yeah, it's so OP here in Black Ops 4, it's such a great perk, and I recommend this. Um, but the rest of the perks are really quite shit, to be fair, guys. You're in Black Ops 4, and um, I'm going to be covering the worst perks you're in Black Ops 4 on my next video. Um, but like I said, hopefully this has helped you with your perks. I'm going to be covering, literally, in the next 10 minutes, my next worst perks you're in Black Ops 4. They're so terrible, they're so bad, that I don't even recommend them. That's how bad they are. But yeah, I'm going to be covering them in the next one. They're just pathetic, and can't wait to share that with you guys. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, comment, share for more great content from me, Zombie Slayer, Jordan Phoenix 22, the number one zombie player in the world, bringing you all the knowledge, understanding there is to understand. You're in Black Ops 4, pro zombie player. Hopefully this video has helped you out with the perk system. I know it's quite annoying. How many perks are, are there in Black Ops 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 perks. And we covered 8 of them. So the rest are going to be covered uh, on my worst video because there are some terrible perks and I can't wait to cover them because I don't want you to stay away from them. I'm going to cover my worst my worst perk uh, first and I'm going to cover my uh, absolutely best of the worst so yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to support the channel by liking, subscribe, follow, comment, share. See you guys on the next one. 
Peace out, guys. Have a great day, a great night. Bye.